Hey guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the top three AI ETFs to buy in 2023. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. And guys, if you want to learn more about investing, money management, trading, I do have a blog where we talk about everything money. I'll put it down below so you guys can check it out. And let's just jump on into it. Now, the reason why I love investing into ETFs over individual companies is when you invest into an individual company, you carry a lot more risk, right? When you invest in an ETF, you're spreading your money across a pool of different companies. The beauty of ETFs is you guys still get great growth, you'll get dividends, and it just carries a ton of potential over one individual stock because if you pick the wrong stock, you lost money. But when you invest in an ETF, that one stock could fall, but the other stocks move up, so you still make money. Now let's move on to my first pick. Now my first pick is a beautiful, one of my top ETFs for AI. This one here is Global X Robotics and Artificial Intelligence ETF. Now this is ticker symbol B O T Z. Now this ETF seeks out different companies in robotics and artificial intelligence that they believe carry a ton of potential. A lot of these companies are actually smaller companies working their way up and they do have about 37 holdings or 37 stocks in this ETF. And some of these picks are Upstart, which is an AI and cloud-based platform that offers lending services. Then we have NVIDIA, which is a computer and graphics card company that makes computer parts and is heavily invested into software and AI. And then we have Innovative Surgical, which is a company that actually does these small invasive surgeries with robotics, which is awesome. And I think that is gonna be some of the wave of the future. I think that we're only getting more dependent on robotics and AI and software. So investing into this ETF carries so much potential, not to mention, this thing has historically outperformed the S&P 500. So looking at this chart, you'll notice that purple line has historically beaten the S&P, which is awesome. So with this ETF, you will get great growth and you'll get a dividend to start compounding your account. It's not much coming in at 0.2%. But hey, it's better than nothing and it's a great way to build up some passive income so you guys can start making that money. Now moving on to ETF number two. Before we jump into it, hit that like button and subscribe if you guys loved the first one, because I did. All right, the second ETF that I love and is heavily invested into AI and robotics is Global Robotics and Automation ETF here. This one here is a beautiful, beautiful ETF. It's ticker symbol R-O-B-O. -O. So this ETF really focuses on companies that are heavily innovative in robotics, automation, AI, software, but it does have some companies that are heavily invested in the cloud computing as well. Now, Robo holds about 83 stocks and some of the holdings that we have are absolutely awesome. We got iRhythm Technologies, which is a digital healthcare company focuses on cardiac monitoring. Then we have Brooks Automation, we have SSYS, which is a 3D printing systems company, and a ton of other fantastic holdings, as you guys can see. Now, since the inception of this ETF in 2011, this has matched the S&P 500, so it's not underperforming or overperforming or outperforming. It's matched what the S&P 500 has done. And it does have a modest dividend coming in at about 0.26%, so it's a little better than the other one, but it's not as good as some of these other dividend paying companies. Now, the reason why a lot of these companies and AI and cloud computing companies don't pay dividends is because they want to use their profits and reinvest them back into the business and grow them larger. Where you'll make your money on these is actually off the appreciation and the shares. So you may buy it for $10 and sell for $20. All right, the third and final ETF that I absolutely love for AI, robotics, automation, cloud computing, software, is this one. It's iShares Robotics and AI ETF. This one here is a beautiful one. It's ticker symbol IRBO. And this one here focuses on emerging companies that are heavily invested into robotics, AI, that carry a lot of long-term potential. Now, some of these companies in here are more small cap stocks, so they're a little more risky, but still carry a ton of potential. Now, since the inception of this ETF, it's historically out from the market, so it's a little better than the previous one because of some of these holdings in here. All right, the top three holdings in this ETF, we got Umbrella, which is the semiconductor company that carries a ton of potential on AI and software. Then we got Namecheck, which is a German-based software 
software company. And then we got HubSpot, which is a provider of cloud-based customer relationship management software. So obviously we're gonna see a ton of growth out of this and that's what we've had. Now the reason I put this one on here over others is because you'll get some great growth. Like I mentioned, it's historically outperformed the market, but it does offer a way better dividend coming in at 0.6%. So it's a great way to beat the market. It's a great way to get some dividends to start compounding your account. And it's just a fantastic, fantastic pick. Now the beauty of all these ETFs is they carry so much potential. My recommendation would be to dollar cost average it, invest weekly, monthly into these so you get that good average price for your shares. And understand that investing in technology, software, AI, does still carry risk, right? Investing in general is always risky, so do your own research before you guys invest, but like always, I think that these are gonna absolutely explode in the next 10 years, guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys later. Remember to stay happy, guys, stay positive, and stay safe. Take care, everyone.